Hey guys, this is the second video of the two video series in which I am going to upgrade my HP NV Touch Smart Notebook PC with 8GB of Kingston DDR3 RAM. Now the first thing that we need to do is open up the service bay of the laptop. Now for that, the first thing that you should do is turn off the computer and take out the battery. This is the service bay that we need to open up. And there's a screw right there that we need to take out. Keep the screw safely, you don't want to lose that. Now slowly try to pry open the cover. This is the cover which has to pop out. Make sure you do not apply too much force to it slowly from each side. it's coming out do not apply a lot of pressure make it gentle make sure to do this from each side your time do this slowly it's the first time I'm opening my laptop so I don't have much idea just now you can see the service bay This is the Samsung 8GB of RAM that is the hard disk and below the hard disk is, uh, is we have the port for M SATA SSD oh, it's quite dusty right now I'm going to install the M SATA SSD later if you want to uh, see the video the link is in the description this is the memory module Kingston 8 gigabytes of RAM that I'm going to put in. Let's not take it out. Now we need to take this RAM out so that we can reach the inner slot. Now to just remove the RAM, what we need to do is uh, spread the retaining tab. There are two retaining tabs, one on each side you can see. This is the left retaining tab, we just need to pull it out. That is the right retaining, ta retaining tab, pull it outside memory will just pop out make sure that the tab is out and memory is out you can take it out this is the samsung 8 gigabytes of ram that came with the laptop now let's just put the kingston one inside there is a notch on the lap 
on the RAM so it can only be inserted in one way so you do not have to worry about that now for installing the RAM just slide the stick inside the slot at an angle make sure you do this at an angle then just push the RAM downwards and it will lock in its place you can see the retaining tabs are on it on their place holding the RAM now let's put the other RAM just slide it at an angle you can see the notch just slide it angle yes they are in now now just push if you want to see it again there is one retaining tab on each side you can see just pull it out the second one outside yeah just now and then I, the ram will just come out like this so you can take it out and put back in and for installing it just push it downwards and you can see there the retaining tab has locked the ram in its place now you can just put the cover back Make sure do not apply too much force, do it slowly and on each side. You need to put a screw in there. You don't want to hurry that, now put the screw back in. Put back the battery and power on the computer. Let's heat up the computer. Let's just put power on. Now you can see the 16 gigabytes of RAM, of which we just have installed the 8 gigabytes. If you want to see more details, let me just open CPU Z. CPU Z shows all the information about the hard. You can see the 16 gigabytes. Now the slot one contains the Samsung module. And the slot 2 contains the Kingston module that we just installed. So everything is working fine. Thank you for watching.